Hey guys, it's FanaFans47 here with an update on my smoke alarm collection. You can see I have a ton of them now, and a lot of these I haven't showed you, which is why I'm making this video today. So yeah, let's just start. So, first of all, we got this new one that I got a couple days ago. It's a first alert carbon monoxide alarm, model CO400, and it takes a backup battery, well, a battery, it doesn't plug in or anything. And the manufacture date is January 29th, 2018. And I am also going to be testing all these today. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and test this one. There we go. Next up, we have this Kitty i9040, uh, which is rebranded by Fire Sentry. Um, and they call it the I-9040E. We can go ahead and screw the mounting bracket off here. Hold on a second. There we go. See, there's the inside. Model I-9040. And the manufacturing date of this one is August 18th, 2014. Sorry if I'm talking kind of weird. I have hearing protection on and I can't really hear myself that well. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test it. And this one does have an LED. Yeah. And these two came in the same box, so we'll go ahead and test this one. So they obviously have the same exact manufacturing date. Now this one right here is an older version of this one. This is the first alert model SA300 2015 January something. Hold on. There we go. 2015 January 22nd. And these ones are kind of hard to put on their mounting brackets. So I'm just going to put the camera down for a second. There we go. And we'll go ahead and test it. This one is really loud, and it's not hardwired. And this one's the newer version. The only difference between this and this is that this has a silence button. And the model of this one is SA303. And you can see that the, the date thing came off. So, yeah. And there's the piezo, and we'll go ahead and test it. And um, here we have this um, first alert BRK. Oh, geez. There. Model 9120B. This one's very common. I'm not a big fan of these things, but I guess they do the job. And uh, yeah, you can see this one's hardwired. And the date on this one is. It's probably right in front of me. I just can't see it. <laughs> There it is, 2016, February 4th. There we go. We'll go ahead and test it. This one's ionization, by the way. Um, all of these are ionization except for this one, which is photoelectric. And that. And we have these two Family Guard model FG200 smoke alarms. Um, they both have the same manufacturing date, I believe. Yep. And, um, you can go ahead and open it up here. This one's hard to open, so I'm going to put the camera down. There we go. You can see I put tape over the horn. And there's the chamber right there, and the battery. There we go, and we can test it. It's still pretty loud with the tape on the horn. Now we'll go ahead and test this one, which also has tape on the horn. And moving on over here, we have this uh, Kitty I-9040. It's the same as these, but it just has a different mounting bracket. Let me just go ahead and take it off. There we go. 
model I-9040, there's the battery. 2014, September 22nd. This was the first smoke alarm I ever got, and it's still in great working condition. Go ahead and test it. And this one right here is the Kitty model number I-9070. This, this one is very similar to the I-9010, except it has, uh, it takes a 9 volt battery. The I-9010 has a sealed lithium battery, and the piezo was actually on the other side. So yeah, and the date on this is July 31st, 2012. And what's interesting about this is that it has separate hush and test. See, this button shouldn't... Blah, blah, blah. This button hushes it. And this one tests. Yeah, these are quite loud. I recommend you lower your volume. And, um... This one right here, I got pretty recently. Just got a couple weeks ago. It's a Kitty Nighthawk Smoke and Carbon Monoxide Alarm. It's a combo that talks model KN-COSM-B. And it takes three AA batteries. And we can go ahead and test it. And there we go. And it chirps to indicate that the test is over. And uh, this one right here, I got about a year ago. And I haven't showed it to you, so I figured I'd throw it in here. This one is a first alert. Let me take the thing off. The first alert model P1200. Photoelectric smoke alarm. Single station. And the date on this is 2015, August 27. There's the 9 volt battery that I put in it. it. Happens to be an energizer. I find that photoelectric detectors um, work better than the ionization detectors that have the chambers. So, yeah, I recommend getting photoelectric detectors. However, they are a little bit more expensive. But anyway, let's go ahead and test it. And um, here is this Kitty carbon monoxide alarm for RVs. It's made for RVs, but you can also use it in your home like a regular CO detector. If I said smoke alarm, then I meant CO detector. But whatever. Anyway, there's a test button. It's got alarm light and an operating light. Sorry about my shaky hands. But yeah. There's the piezo. And what you do is you push this to release it, and then you kind of just slide it off of the mounting bracket like that. There are the batteries. Model KNCOB. KNCOB-B LPM. And, uh, yeah. Go ahead and put it back on here. It goes this way, I believe. I'm going to have to put the camera down again. Sorry about this. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Let's go ahead and test it. And there we go. And this one I got quite recently. I got this from Abishan Hardware. It's a first alert. See if we can get this off. Oh, I'm going to have to put the camera down again. Model 0827 with a sealed lithium battery. And uh, to disable the alarm before disposal, you have to score that and take the tab out. And uh, yeah, there it is. And the date on it is, let's see, February 13th, 2016. Did I say 13? <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and test it. There we 
There we go. And this one I got just a couple days ago. It's a FireX um, I4618AC. These are made by Kitty. And um, this thing's kind of crappy. It's cheaply made because the thing that holds the bracket on already fell off, as you can see. But I actually like it better now because I can actually just twist it off with no problem. You can see it's hardwired and it's uh, dated 2017, October 19th. There goes the heat. <laughs> there we go. We'll go ahead and test it. And this right here I got on eBay for a really good deal. Um, it's a system sensor i3 model 2WT-B with 135 degrees thermal. And uh, I'm not going to be testing this today because it, it uh, first of all, it doesn't have a sounder base. And second of all, it needs to be wired up. So I'm not going to be testing this. But yeah, you can just twist this off. Which way does it go? I'm gonna flip the camera down again. There we go. And also, over here on the ceiling, I have a uh, I have another SA three hundred three by First Alert. See. We'll go ahead and test it. And many of you are probably wondering where my other carbon monoxide alarm went. Well, here it is. Yep, it is now mounted in my hallway. And we can go ahead and test it. And while we're out here, we can test the smoke alarm. There you go. And I bet many of you are wondering where the I-9030 went. Well, here it is. Yep, I now have it mounted in my basement. As you can see, it now has a different mounting bracket. I have the old one upstairs. There we go, we can go ahead and test it. While we're down here, we can test the CO detector. So yeah, this was just a quick update on my smoke alarm collection, and thanks for watching. Peace.